Now let us look at how we can actually solve quadratic equation using completing the square method. Now the example 1.3 we have on the board says solve the equation x squared minus 8x plus 3 equal to 0 using completing the square method. Solution x squared minus 8x plus 3 equal to what? 0. So what I'm going to do is, the first thing I'm going to do is to divide the equation to left hand side and right hand side. This becomes x squared minus 8x equal to minus 3. So you now have a left hand side and a right hand side. So if we do that, obviously the next thing to do after you have divided the equation to left hand side and right hand side, you now take the, you know, in, in a quadratic equation we have three parameters that are in the quadratic equation. We have the coefficient of x squared, we have the variable, and we have the constant. If you look at this minus 8, minus 8 is the variable there. So what you do is that pick the variable. If you pick the variable minus 8, divide it by 2. Anything you get, square the result. And then you add it to the left hand side and the right hand side. So minus 8 divided by 2 we give you what? Minus 4. So that gives you minus 4 squared. So you pick that minus 4 squared, take it here. So you have x squared minus 8x plus bracket minus 4 squared. Do you see what I'm doing? Equal to minus 3 plus bracket minus 4 what? squared. Anything you do to the right hand side, you do it to the left hand side. Obviously, from here we can now say that x squared, this is the same thing as what? x minus, look at what I want to do here. This is the same thing as x minus 4 all squared. It is equal to this whole thing you have here. So, from, from what I taught you when we started perfect square, I told you how, you how this can become this. If you look at how we started perfect square, so this becomes minus 3. Minus 4 squared will give us what? Plus 16. So this gives us x minus 4 all squared equal to minus 3 plus 16 will give us what? Plus 13. That gives us now from here we can now say that x minus 4 is equal to plus or minus square root of 13. Finally, x becomes what? Take this minus 4 here, it becomes positive 4. So it becomes 4 plus or minus square root of 13. So this is our final result. I believe you understand what I've just done. So this is how we can actually solve quadratic equation using perfect square. Okay? Now let us see example 1.4. Let us see how we can solve that particular question. The question we have there for example 1.4 says solve the equation a squared plus 3a minus 2 equal to 0 using completing the square method. So let us see what we can do there. Solution to that question. Now the equation is a squared plus 3a minus 2 equal to 0. So like I told you, when you are solving using completing the square method, the first thing you do is to divide the two equations to left hand side and right hand side. So this becomes a squared plus 3a equal to what? This is negative to take it here becomes positive. So this now becomes the right hand side. This is the right hand side. And this is the left hand side. So after doing that, pick the variable. The variable of a is in this part here is 3. So pick the variable. The variable is 3. Divide it by 2. That's 3 over 2. Square it and add it to both sides. So if I pick the variable, I have plus 3a plus add 3 over 2 to both sides. This becomes 2 plus 3 over 2 all squared. Now this expression here is the same thing as saying a plus 3 over 2 all squared. If you expand this expression, you get what is here. You get exactly what is there. So this gives us 2 plus 3 squared will give us what? 9. And 2 squared will give us what? 4. So if you do that, the next thing we are going to do here is to take LCM. Let us take the LCM there. We have A plus 3 over 2 all squared equal to... Now the LCM of 1 and 4 is 4. 1 in 4 is what? 4. 4 times 2 is what? 8. 
plus 4 in 4 is what? 1. 1 times 9 is what? 9. So that gives us bracket a plus 3 over 2 all squared equal to 9. What is 8 plus 9? That's 17 over what? Over 4. So your a plus 3 over 2 is equal to plus or minus square root of what? 17 over 4. My a now becomes what? Take this plus 3 over 2 here. Removing the bracket, it becomes negative 3 over 2 plus or minus square root of what? 17 over 4. Okay, so your a now becomes what? Minus 3 over 2 plus or minus... Now, 17 does not have a square root, so it becomes root 17. But 4 has a square root, that is 2. There is a minus here. Final answer is a equal to minus 3 over 2 plus or minus root 17 over 2. So this is our final result. With this simple method of explanation, I believe you have been able to understand how completing the square can be used to solve quadratic equation. Now let us look at the next method, which is standard formula method or quadratic formula method. So that will be the next thing we are going to talk about now.